absolutely delighted to bring to you one of the women who is absolutely continuing the tradition of women-led resistance to war. I'd like to introduce you all to Beatrice Maneshi. Beatrice is an Iranian-American security, human rights, and international peace policy analyst and activist. And she is currently the main organizer of the Women's March to Ban Nuclear Weapons. The Women's March to Ban the Bomb is going to take place in New York City on June 17th. Mark it down in your calendars and we will see you there. And she's going to tell you way more about it. Please welcome Beatrice. It's an honor to be with you all here today. Although it's triggered by grave conditions that we face. We are two and a half minutes to midnight. This is the closest we've been to midnight since 1953, at the onset of the arms race, which was resulting in a stockpile of thousands of nuclear weapons. We are ticking to the closer to environmental collapse due to the lack of coherent response to climate change, which this president denies as a hoax and global leaders fail to address. Our seas are warming and rising. Carbon dioxide is the highest level in modern history. And those most vulnerable and affected by climate change are already suffering. All of these impacts demand the response from our government. Those most value corporate greed and military spending over human life. While nuclear armed states invest the billions of dollars in nuclear arsenals and while the major produce continue profits of bloodshed in their countries. While other governments continue to cut funding in environmental protection, health care, education, other justice programs. In the U.S. alone, federal funding on many programs including the EPA has been cut by 31%. While the government is spending over a trillion dollars in the next 30 years modernizing the nuclear arsenals. The investment in nuclear weapon systems not only takes money away from programs that can help address climate change, but also increases the threat of use of nuclear weapons. In the event of nuclear war being used, cities would burn to the ground and the ash would rise, forming huge amounts of smoke in the atmosphere, impacting the weather for years. The smoke will block the sun, causing the temperatures to plummet, impacting farm and food supplies globally, resulting in mass starvation of millions, if not billions of people due to the nuclear winter. But we don't have to talk about the hypotheticals to be alarmed. As a global community, we are already experiencing the effects of over 2,000 nuclear test explosions that have taken place since 1945, causing grave effects to human health, global ecosystems, wherever the bombs were detonated. In the islands of the Pacific, in the deserts of Australia and Nevada, in the rural regions of Kazakhstan, and of course in Nagasaki and Hiroshima, we see the detrimental effects of nuclear testing and the use that sears the earth poisons the air and water, and renders the land unusable, affecting generations of people to come. This is why the Women's International League of Peace and Freedom is in solidarity and resistance to the denial of climate change and the continued investment and possession of nuclear weapons. Security does not equal military might. Security is about the well-being of every human being based on the environment, human rights, justice, peace, and respect for the world that we depend on. We stand in solidarity with all of you here today, calling on our governments to effectively address climate change by ending the fossil fuel cycle dependency, which breeds war, militarism, and determines the heart and health of our environment. We seek carbon-free, nuclear-free. Global warming and climate change are fueled by the economies dependent on military solutions, such as the threat of nuclear use, during conflicts instead of diplomacy. Prohibiting what nuclear weapons is urgent and necessary. The majority of governments around the world are already taking the first steps. They're in the process of negotiating a nuclear ban treaty, banning nuclear weapons internationally. The next round of negotiations is taking place in New York City and we, will are organizing a women's march to ban the bomb, 17th of June, to support the negotiations. Join us! Woo! Call for the end of the nuclear era! Yeah! Call for the end of the 
at this institution hall as militarism at the cost of the environment and our welfare. Yeah. Are you wondering what to do after this march? Yes. Continue to resist. Join us June 17th. Call an end to nuclear war. Protect our environment and Mother Earth.